dear students after studying this module you shall be able to know what are se1 reactions and mechanisms learn the effect of mechanism on stereochemistry of products identify substrates that would prefer se1 mechanism and analyze the importance of se1 mechanism in synthetic chemistry now let us begin with the introduction of this topic the substitution electrophilic unimolecular mechanisms are termed as se1 reactions these mechanisms follow first order reaction kinetics with respect to the substrate the se1 mechanism is analogous to the unimolecular mechanisms for nucleophilic substitution that is sn1 reactions now let us get into details of se1 reaction the se1 mechanism first of all in this section the se1 mechanism involves two steps the first step is a slow ray determining step the ionization step leading to formation of the carb anion the second step involves fast combination of electrophile resulting into the products which are desired you can see the first step here is the slow step which generates the carbon ion the step second step is the attack of the electrophile which gives rise to the desired products now let us discuss the stereochemistry of se1 mechanism the stereochemical outcome of se1 reactions are difficult to predict owing to the complicated configuration of carbon ions formed during the first step of ionization which is also the ray determining slow step the typical carbon ion in theory may have a pyramidal that is sp3 hybridization or a planar also sp2 hybridization or maybe depending upon the substituent a configuration which is in between sp3 and sp2 hybridizations on minimum energy grounds pyramidal configurations are favored as the lone pair resides in sp3 orbital now you can see the structure of the carbon ion which is generated in step 1 here if the carbon ion is pyramidal and it can hold its structure then the product would be with retention of configuration even if pyramidal carbon ion has been reported to give a racemized product owing to pyramidal inversion now this is shown in the next figure as is observed with amines that is amines which are r3n that is the trialkylamine and the carbon ions thus generated are r3c- and they are isoelectronic if the carbon ion on the other hand has a planar structure then also the attack of electrophile might lead to racemization of products therefore racemization is most almost always observed for the products of se1 mechanism this is shown to you in the next figure again although whether this is caused by planar carbon ions or by oscillating pyramidal carbon ions in equilibrium is not yet settled now this figure is showing you here the mechanism of racemization in se1 reactions now let us discuss common reactions involving se1 mechanisms first will be the decarboxylation of aliphatic acids aliphatic acids with certain functional groups such as double or triple bonds at alpha or beta positions undergo facile decarboxylation the reaction proceeds by involvement of a carbon ion intermediate that subsequently acquires a proton from the solvent or any other source for such reactions the loss of carbon dioxide is the rate limiting step thus the rate law for the following reaction would be the rate is equal to rate constant and the concentration of the anion generated of the acid involved here the z should be or can be the coh the carboxylic acid group the cor the phenyl that is the ar no2 cn and the ch3 which is methyl loss of carbon dioxide from dicarboxylic acids such as malonic acid and higher members of the series occurs readily via se1 mechanism to give monocarboxylic acids cleavage of alkoxides is the next form of example or the next series of example alkoxides of tertiary alcohols with electron withdrawing substituents may undergo anionic fragmentation 
The reaction proceeds nicely with electron withdrawing aryl, allylic and benzylic substituents. However, the reaction is unsuccessful when the Z groups are simple unbranched alkyl groups. Now you can see this in the reaction we have shown the same. There are reports that the reaction is a simple one step mechanism under gas phase giving the carbon ion and ketone directly. However, with some substrates in solution, the formation of RR dimers have been observed that might point towards a radical mediated mechanism based on attached substituents. Third example is the halogenation of ketones. The acid base catalyzed halogenations of aldehydes or ketones is a classical example of SC1 mechanism. Now considering this reaction, in unsymmetrical ketones, the preferred site proton abstraction and halogenation is usually the more substituted carbon atom. The preferred order for halogenations being CHR2 that is the dialkyl, then the monoalkyl, then the methyl. Under alkaline conditions, one position of a ketone is completely halogenated before the other position is attacked and generally the reaction cannot be stopped until all the hydrogens of the first carbon have been replaced with the halogen atom. This is because the electron withdrawing inductive effect exerted by the halogen makes all the alpha hydrogen atoms of the CH2X group more acidic than those of the methyl group. Therefore, the second halogenation is faster than the first halogenation and the third halogenations are faster still. Next is the haloform reaction which is a special case of halogenations of ketones where one of the substituent on ketone or secondary alcohol is a methyl group. In haloform reaction in the presence of excess base and excess of halogens a methyl ketone is first converted into a trihalo substituted ketone and this is clearly shown in the reaction as you can see here. Then hydroxide ion attacks the carbonyl carbon of the trihalo substituted ketone leading to easy expulsion of the tetrahedral intermediate resulting into the final product which is a carboxylic acid. The reaction is called haloform reaction as one of the products is haloform, chloroform, bromoform or iodoform. These reactions are common laboratory tests for detection of CH3COR groups in an unknown compound. Example is given to you here. Here you can see the formation of iodoform in this particular compound. Fourth example is the ketoenol tautomerism. Ketoenol tautomerism is an acid base catalyzed reversible reaction that occurs in substrates containing a carbonyl group attached to sp3 hybridized carbon bearing one or more hydrogen atoms. Thermodynamically, the ketone isomer is more stable than the enol tautomer. And you can see here the mechanism of ketoenol tautomerism is clearly displayed here in this reaction series. Sometimes intramolecular stabilization through hydrogen bonding or complete electron delocalization may cause the enol tautomer to be more favored also. Fifth example is the nitrosation reaction. Compounds with acidic protons such as active methylene groups in case of CF3, COCH2, COCF3 which makes the methylene group that is the CH2 group very acidic because of the electronegative fluorine atoms can be nitrosated with nitrous acid or alkyl nitrites. The attacking species is either NO plus or a carrier of it. The initial product formed is the C nitroso compound that is stable only when there is no hydrogen that can undergo tautomerism. When the substrate is CF3, COCH2, CF3, the mechanism goes through a enol form as follows and the mechanism is shown to you here clearly. This reaction is often used to prepare amino acids since oxymes and nitroso compounds can be reduced to primary amines easily. Next is the Hell-Vollard-Zelinsky, the very famous HVZ reaction. 
Carboxylic acids do not undergo substitution reactions at alpha position under basic conditions because a base will remove a proton from the COH group rather than from the alpha position. If however a carboxylic acid is treated with bromine in the presence of PBr3 that is phosphorus tribromide then the brominated acid can be substituted at alpha position. This halogenation reaction is called hell bollard zielinski reaction. The reaction is named after the three chemists, the German chemist Karl Magnus von Hell 1849 to 1926 and Jacob Volard 1834 to 1910 and the Russian chemist Nikolai Zielinski 1861 to 1953. You can see this reaction in brief over here and the proposed mechanism of the reaction is as follows. First the PBr3 brominates the OH and the OH is replaced. Then the final attack is by the bromine giving rise to the substituted desired product on the alpha by replacing the alpha hydrogen on the acid. In the first step of HVZ reaction students as I have told you just now. PBr3 phosphorus tribromide converts the carboxylic acid into an acyl bromide. The acyl bromide is in equilibrium with its enol form. Bromination of the enol forms leads to alpha brominated acyl bromide which is hydrolyzed to the carboxylic acid. This reaction is not applicable to iodine or fluorine. When there are two alpha hydrogens one or both may be replaced although it is often hard to stop with just one because the reactivity is high. Next is the stork enamine reaction. In the first step of this reaction from aliphatic ketones enamines are generated. The enamines are alkylated through a mechanism which is similar to Friedel Crafts alkylation. Now you can see the mechanism here is clearly displayed. Alkylation generally occurs at less substituted sites of the original ketone. This method is similar to aliphatic nucleophilic substitution. The advantage of this reaction is that it can be stopped after introduction of just one alkyl group. You can see the reaction and its mechanism here. Next example students is the electrophilic substitution accompanied by double bond shifts. With allylic substrates the product of electrophilic substitutions generally results in the formation of rearranged products. There are two possible pathways for this reaction. In the SE1 pathway the leaving group is first removed giving a resonance stabilized allylic carbonyl which then attacks the electrophile to give rise to the products. The reaction proceeds in two steps. You can see the two steps here. And this represents both geometries are possible. In the first step, proton removal leads to formation of carbon ion, which may rearrange to a better stable olefin, which then may take up a proton to give rise to rearranged product. Double bond rearrangements can also take place on treatment with acids. Thus, both proton and Lewis acids can be used to catalyze such rearrangement diazo d dihydro by substitution. Consider this reaction. Compounds containing active methylene groups such as malonic ester can be converted to diazo compounds on treatment with tocyl azide in the presence of a base. Here you can see this where the active methylene group is represented with a point between z and z dash. Z and Z dash may be electron withdrawing groups such as COR, CO, COR that is the ester or the ketone, aldehyde, CONR2 that is the substituted amides, the nitrile CN and the NO2. This reaction is called diazo transfer reaction which is applicable to other reactive substrates such as cyclopentadiene. The proposed mechanism for the reaction is as follows. Now you can see after the reaction with the base how the mechanism proceeds leading to the desired product. The use of phase transfer catalysis increases the convenience of this method. 
Now let us consider aliphatic diazonium coupling reaction. In molecules with active methylene groups, as discussed earlier, such as diethyl melonate, where the CH bond is quite acidic, in the presence of a base, coupling reaction takes place, leading to diazonium salt formation. Here again you can see this as a point between Z and Z dash, the methylene group, which is active methylene group. Here Z is equal to the ethyl ester, aliphatic azo compounds, where the carbon containing the azo group is attached to a hydrogen are unstable and henceforth they tautomerize to the isomeric hydrozones, which are therefore the products of this reaction. Now students, we have in detail discussed the SE1 reactions and the types and various in various details of the SE1 reactions. Now let us summarize this module students. In this module students we have taught you that electrophilic substitution reactions are reactions where an electrophile replaces another group on the substrate. Substitution electrophilic unimolecular reactions are termed as SE1 reactions. We taught you that SE1 reactions follow first order kinetics with respect to the substrate. SE1 reactions proceed in two steps. The first one is the rate determining proton abstraction step. The second step is the rapid attack of electrophile leading to product formation. Next we taught you owing to the configuration of carbon ion intermediate of the product SE1 mechanisms are generally racemic mixtures. Since carbon ions are stabilized by electron withdrawing substituents, SE1 reactions are favored for substrates with minus i or minus m functional groups. Further, SE1 reactions are favored in polar solvents owing to better solvation of the carbon ions which are generated in step 1. Next we discussed that solvents play a major role in determination of stereochemical outcome of SE1 mechanism. In number of synthetically useful name reactions we have discussed here such as helvolard zielinski reaction, heloform reaction, stork enamine reaction, they take up the preferable SE1 pathway as an intermediate, intermediate step generation of carbon ions. Now I hope students from this module you have definitely come to appreciate SE1 reaction and its mechanism in various forms of chemical reactions and very famous name reactions also.